Hey, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan. Welcome back to another JC production. Today, we're going to be going over some of the best accessories you can buy when it comes to getting the most out of your iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max camera. Before we begin, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. If you're looking for a cost conscious or budget style accessory video, this is not it. Some of these items are definitely going to be on the pricier end. However, they'll be able to grow with you and be used on future devices and in some cases, maybe even professional cameras. So if you're serious about smartphone videography and photography, this video is for you. The first item is actually an app. And that app is Filmic Pro. If you're wanting to get the most out of your iPhone's video capabilities, you're gonna wanna download Filmic Pro. It's not a cheap app by any means, coming in at 15 bucks, but it's completely worth it because you get full manual control over your ISO, shutter speed, focus, frames per second, white balance, and much more. Plus you get Log V2, which according to the developers, gets you two additional stops of dynamic range, which exceeds some DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Second, we have what I feel is the best gimbal that you can currently buy on the market and no, it's not the Osmo Mobile 3. This is the Zhiyun Crane M2 and not only can you use it with your smartphone, but it also can be used with smaller point and shoot cameras. It's insanely small, compact, being able to fit in a pocket easily and it features locking switches so things don't bang around during transport. And what's crazy is the gimbal itself can be powered by a power bank. When it comes to flexibility, there's a quarter 20 on the side for attaching various accessories like the power bank we were just talking about. On the bottom, there's an additional quarter 20 for the detachable feet when balancing, but this can also be used to attach more accessories. In terms of modes, you have pan follow, follow, lock, POV, vortex, and go mode. The Crane M2 connects to the Zhiyun phone app, which can be used to perform even more things like time lapses. The app can also perform auto calibration when balancing your phone or camera. The build quality is excellent. It's really comfortable, comes with everything you need inside the box and gives you flexibility with compatibility, which is the theme of this video. For more info and where to purchase, check out the link down below and stay tuned for more videos on this gimbal. Next up is the Beast Grip smartphone cage, and this thing is a beast, no pun intended. It's one of the best smartphone camera accessories that you can currently buy because it's universal. This means unlike buying a case with a lens mount for a specific phone, this cage can be used with any phone you have or may have in the future. Plus it has tons of modularity since you can extend the cage using the included extension rods or add an additional cold shoe that is also included inside the box. There are two quarter 20s on the top and three more on the bottom. These quarter 20s are great for things like articulating arms, lights, microphones, and more. I did a video a while back showcasing how to shoot in resolutions higher than 4K on a smartphone by shooting anamorphic. In that video, I showed off the B-Script cage and some of its potential. So if you missed that video, you can check it out in the card at the top. To go along with the B-Script cage, I recommend picking up some type of smartphone lens or lens filters. Moment makes incredible wide telephoto, macro, and other prime style lenses that can be adapted to the B-Script cage. They also make an anamorphic lens. However, when it comes to anamorphic, I recommend the Moondog Labs lens. In my opinion, it has a more cinematic look with greater anamorphic properties versus the Moment. What's great is even if you're already invested in the Moment ecosystem, including their lenses and cases, but you don't have their anamorphic yet, Moondog Labs also makes one that uses the case style mount for Moment cases. They also recently released an updated version to the anamorphic lens, which I'm super excited for. So if you want to know the difference between the two, let me know and maybe I'll do a follow up video. Moondog Labs also makes an adapter for mounting ND filters on the anamorphic lens. It attaches just like this and screws on so there's no chance of it slipping off. It allows use of 52 millimeter filters. So if you wanted to purchase the Moondog NDs, like the two, three, and four stop filters that I have here, you technically could. You could also get a variable ND from Amazon, which is not only more practical, but also potentially cheaper. Just make sure you get a quality ND that doesn't affect image quality. If you already have a good ND filter and it's a larger size, you could easily use step up rings to make that work as well. Moving on, we have audio. And for this, I think the Rode Wireless Go is perfect. You'll need this additional $15 cable and a lightning to 3.5 dongle to connect to your iPhone. But again, it's totally worth it. It's super small, lightweight, so perfect for travel. Plus the Wireless Go has so much flexibility, it's insane. One, it can be used as a lav mic on its own. Although it is a bit bulky for this, it's still doable. Two, you can plug in a lav mic directly to the transmitter, which is great. 
Three, you can mount the receiver to a cold shoe and then the transmitter to an additional cold shoe and use it as a shotgun mic with one of the included wind muffs. If you struggle with white balancing, then this next item takes out the headaches associated with getting the proper settings dialed in. This is the Lumu Power 2 and it simply plugs into your lightning port on your iPhone and connects to the Lumu app, which can be downloaded from the App Store. From there, you now have a professional white balance color meter and exposure meter, plus much more. To get the proper white balance, simply point the Lumu sensor the appropriate direction and take a reading. Then go back into the Filmic Pro app, or if you're using a dedicated camera, go into your white balance settings and input the color temp and green or magenta settings that you got from the Lumu app. It seriously doesn't get any easier than that. Plus it's insanely small and so much more convenient than lugging around a color chart or a gray card. If you aren't a fan of gimbals, then maybe this next item is better suited for your needs. This is the Rhino ROV slider. It's small, lightweight, and excellent for travel. Plus it comes bundled with excellent smartphone accessories like a smartphone mounting clip, a 52 millimeter lens clip, and a variable ND. Not to mention you get this nice bag that keeps everything nice, neat, and organized. The ROV slider is controlled using the Rhino ROV app. You can adjust the speed and direction of the slider plus time-lapse settings. The ROV also comes with a ball head for mounting your camera and supports up to five pounds. The battery life is excellent and lasts up to 24 hours on a good day, but consistently hovers between 20 and 22 hours, which is still really good. It can be checked by the LED lights on the end next to the power button. All in all, it's an excellent slider that will grow with you just like everything else on this list. Finally, for the photographers out there who love taking pictures on your iPhone, you're really going to love the Fuji Instax SP3. It's a battery powered portable printer that is only a little bit bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, making it perfect for tossing in a bag. It prints high quality Polaroid style square photos that have plenty of detail and color in a matter of seconds. I love the retro vibe of these old Polaroid style photos and being able to utilize my iPhone camera for the prints while on the go is awesome. Plus the Instax SP3 can link to Fuji mirrorless and medium format cameras. And if you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love my Fuji X-T3 and that's going to give you even higher quality prints. Well, friends, that does it for this video. What'd you think of the accessory roundup? If you have any awesome things to add to this list, leave them down below in the comment section. For more information, including pricing on any of the things mentioned in this video or where to purchase any of these things, you can find all of that in the description. There'll be links to every item mentioned. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will talk to you gorgeous people in the next video.